warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. And here we have Pescara against Juventus. Well, here is a guy who needs little embellishment, voted the world's best player. Well, listen, you just can't argue with fact. And the fact of the matter is, this fella's the best footballer on the planet. Um, I don't need to add any more, do I? It's, it's got to be indisputable. So, the two starting lineups. the whistle pulls loose who's getting there gets it upfield tries a through ball chance to shoot that's yet cuts it out well he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. He's got away. Has a pop! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Iguain. Dinks one in. Massive leap! Juventus and it's Juventus who take the lead Juventus break the deadlock well just listen to the reaction I think you can hear the approve hits one he's missed but not by that far a more than decent attempt Peter lobs it in gently chooses to go back tries lifting it over Oh, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Played out to the wing. Turns and goes back. And it's half-time here. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Juventus come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Juventus goes... Oh, in! No mistake! Two up, and threatening to pull clear! Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more... Can he finish? They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Juventus have been mighty impressive in defence just recently. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Bovo. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Steered out wide. The final whistle. Juventus, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Your reflections then, Jim. Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team. And a lesson dealt. 
So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon. Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. Well, there's the big signing, making his hugely anticipated debut. The fans have been so eager for this moment. Yeah, I mean, the fans have greatly anticipated this. He's a, a wonderful acquisition. And yes, he'll be under a little pressure to produce big moments and justify the investment. But he won't be phased by that. He's a big enough character to cope. A quick look at the lineups. to business here Maradona and it's Mandzukic Marquisio Juventus were imperious when the two sides last and Mandzukic could 
must stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Juventus take the early advantage. Mandzukic passes it through. Dybala is on his own. Pjanic! Really well taken goal. And they are disappearing out of sight. Juventus take a two goal lead and he's had a shot. They are rampant. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Juventus take a three-goal lead. Dybala has a go! And that is doing no harm. He trapped it expertly, Peter, and released it very differently. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Played out to the wing. Hits one! And that really should have hit the net. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. And it's hoisted clear. So what now? Header! And we hit half-time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Juventus are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. And we're off again. And Mandzukic! That is a class save. He had to be at his best. He'll have a dip. Terrific goal, Mario Mandzukic. More and more and more and more. They are running riot. Juventus tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required... Going for goal! And he's missed it. Oh, he really wanted that. Mandzukic certainly tends to cast his influence, and he's in... Dybala! Oh, my word, my word, that is fantastic! A finish of true class! Unbelievable. A contest no... Shoots! Tries to get it forward quickly. Mandzukic They're actually not getting too tight which is interesting no. And Dybala! Oh, almost a sixth It so nearly came off for him Paolo Dybala Very nearly making something happen there You can't keep a good man down Five minutes left on the clock. Coaxed out to the wing. And the finish! Looking for a corner. The shot's on! Oh, taken with style. And time is up.
Juventus a class apart, opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Juventus simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.
So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Napoli against Juventus. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter. Litmanon! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter. Heads it! Iguain shoots! Goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Can he score? And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. He'll have a dip! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Looks to slip it through. Hits one! Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! And they are disappearing out of sight! Juventus grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the net. Goes for goal! Oh, great save. Real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. It so nearly came off for him. Higuain certainly tends to cast his influence and he's in imposing mood again. And it's half-time here. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Juventus ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. Gets things going for the second half. Looks to... Shapes the shoots! And more, and more, and more! And they are cruising away! Massive leap! He scores! They're back within reach! So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from... Towering header! It's anyone's ball! Gets and a header! Gonzalo Higuain! He is sensational! Juventus grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Just brushed off the ball there. Marquisio. Oen! And in it goes! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Juventus, Maradona, it's in, and again they pile on the misery, Juventus totally rampant here, balls loose, who's getting there, he is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again, Nedved, well he caught that pure, but no end product, can he finish? Keeper's got good distance on that. Now it's Benteke. Tries a through ball. Quadrado goes for goal. The whistle has gone and it is all over. Juventus enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that but this was very impressive the way they cut through the heart of that defence so before we go many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both good afternoon
I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. The teams then, Juventus against Cagliari. So a massive day for this lad, a youth team graduate getting his first team chance. Well, what a jump in his career. Uh, a big occasion in, in the life of this young man too. A promotion to be proud of and a belief from his manager that he has all he needs to handle the task. And I'll just add, I'd like to wish him well. So the two starting lineups. So off we go then. Into the channel. So who's he picking out? Forward it goes. Figo. Goes long. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Juventus were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Tries to get it forward quickly. Nelson Semedo. Looks like Figo! Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see... It's Iguain! So what now? Can he score? He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Maradona. Iguain with the ball through. Is it in? first 45 minutes are up so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break nil nil we're promptly into Iguain he's got away with one there Big Wayne really got in the face of his opponent to set it up. It's great grafting. Owen spreads it wide, steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Loftus cheek, past the shots on! In it goes! Is the breakthrough deadlock broken? It's 1 0. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Iguain with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Pushes it out wide. Looking for a decent ball in. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Throw in. Mascherano does well there. Alert. And it's Iguain. It's Iguain! Gonzalo Iguain! He is sensational! Unbelievable. And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. In with a header! No, not the best of headers. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As and that will be the final act. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Your final thoughts, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient.
we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Juventus against Inter. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks for that, Peter. Has a hit! He's scored! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason... Terry has given away a free kick. Oh, how good is he? Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. Unbelievable. They have done it. They have their equaliser. Into Milan, grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Done very well to intervene. Cazorla, who gave his side the first half lead in his last game. Great volley it was as well. It is quite a run he's making here. Rooney! Goal! Juventus! And they've got their lead back. Juventus get themselves into the lead. Crescito. Crescito. Out to the flank. Can he deliver? With a point blank header. And we hit half time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive? Um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Very little in it. The score at half-time is two goals to one. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. And he's cut it out. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from... And a header! Went with his head but couldn't steer it in. Santi really has shown an example of why indecision is... Fa in with a header! That'll be a throw-in. Turns and shoots! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Inter Milan have just about... Goes for goal! No, he got that all wrong. Loftus-Cheek will probably beat himself up after that as the sole culprit. And it's Adair. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Has a pop! And in it goes! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line! Juventus could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Juventus made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.